Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I, at work I got this error, uh, this blue screen of death, and I managed to fix it, so I thought I'd make a quick tutorial for you guys. Hope you find it useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so I had a machine at work that kept on randomly crashing and displaying this exact um, blue screen of death. Um, I looked it up, and what it was was actually a corrupt paging file. So if I just go to my Windows 7 desktop, so if you just click on the start menu, uh, type in advanced, and then click on view advanced system settings, click on the settings button, and then click on the advanced tab, uh, down the bottom here under virtual memory, click on change. At the moment, I've got automatically managed page file. So if you just tick that, and then click on no page file click on ok so it's saying here you need to restart your machine so ok ok and ok again uh, then restart your machine so what that is done is that's removed the page and file from our machine um, so after you've restarted your machine just repeat that process so click on Sorry, couldn't spell advanced then. If you just type in advanced again and click on view advanced system settings, then again just repeat the process. So click on settings, advanced, and then change here. And then just put it back to whatever the original settings were. So maybe you had custom size here or as I had automatically manage. So select that and then just don't keep on OK and to come out. Uh, restart your machine again and then the page and file will be back to what it was originally after you've completed that if you open up file explorer click on computer and then you'll see your c drive here so just right click on there and click properties click on tools and then under error checking click on check now tick both the boxes and click start and then click on schedule disk check uh, what this is going to do is it's going to check your C drive for um, corrupt files. If it finds any, it will automatically fix it. So if you just click on this schedule disk check, click on OK. Um, it's not going to run the check now. Um, if you restart your machine, uh, when your machine starts up, it's going to run the check then. It usually takes about 10 minutes. If you've got a fast PC, if you've got a slow PC, it could take a long time. Um, but just let that complete. As I said, it will fix any corrupt files you might have. Um, and then after that, the blue screen of death won't come back again. If you, ha if you have any questions for me, post pe sorry, please post it in a comment below and I'll help you out. But thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.